Wide mask mandate may be gone, but tonight many businesses are still requiring customers to mask up. Texas has fully reopened. Governor Greg Abbott giving the green light for businesses to operate at 100% capacity. But some places aren't moving full speed ahead just yet. KPRC2's Michael Laparty is live tonight with what you can expect at businesses around town. Michael? Chris, it's now up to businesses to decide, and what we found is that different businesses have different rules when it comes to thing like, things like masks and capacity. The days of no mask, no service are no more, at least for some businesses in the Houston area. At Citizens Grill near the Woodlands... All the staff are uh, required to wear masks, and the customers are doing whatever they wish to do. So far, managing partner Jim Howers told me there were no issues with the changes. We've noticed today most customers walking in are wearing their mask until they get to the table, at which point they're taking it off, and they're putting it back on when they use the restroom, for example. At Malibu Nails and Spa, Maggie Becker says employees will wear masks and take other precautions. We are not requiring guests to wear masks since the mandate has been lifted. It's their option whether they want to or not. Wednesday marks day one of the so-called reopening, but some places are aren't ready to ease the rules. We're still mandating masks. Uh, of course, all our team members are wearing masks as well, but we're still uh, requiring customers to wear masks as they come in. We asked the owner of Tobio Sushi and Bar near Katy whether that's caused any problems. Unfortunately, no, not yet, but I mean, it is the first day. And at Houston, this is its soul food. And we're still going to pretty much take the same safety precautions as we would take last week or last month. A manager told us they're still enforcing masks and social distancing, another example of how different businesses are taking different approaches. And the boss at Citizens Grill says we'll probably get a better understanding as to how customers are responding to the changes come this weekend because the weekend is usually a busier time for restaurants. We're live tonight near the Woodlands. Michael Loparty, KPRC, 2 News.